Warm wishes of Diwali and the Shera from 3030 STEM and CCL. And in 20 days in this series daily we'll share the method of making 20 types of lamps and beautiful mats behind them. Like our lab is sparkling with these 20 lamps, we hope that your home will also sparkle with these beautiful lamps till Diwali. On second day of the series, today we are going to make this octahedral lamp. It will look something like this when we try to make it with paper. You must have seen that this octahedron is made up of 8 equilateral triangles. On each vertex there are 4 equilateral triangles. We can see this on all the vertices. This is the property of platonic solids. Octahedron is one of the platonic solids. Tetrahedron that we made yesterday was also a platonic solid. Octahedron that we are making today is also a platonic solid. This octahedron you we see here is made of 3 squares one with pink color one with blue color and one with brown color the three squares combined will form a shape called octahedron as we can see here a very interesting thing in this is that the equilateral triangles that you can see here if i take the midpoint of these and join all of them the shape that can be seen is a cube yes it is a cube which you can see in this model also which we have made in our lab with wooden sheet so you can observe here that when we have joined the midpoints of equilateral triangles the shape obtained is a cube similarly if we divide the lengths of the side of octahedron into golden ratio then also we'll get a very interesting shape called icosahedron you can see in this structure in this structure the blue colored sticks that you can see is an octahedron So now the pink colored sticks that you can see made from triangles is icosahedron. So the two shapes that we discussed today that is cube and icosahedron in our forthcoming days will be making the lamps from those shapes and discuss about the interesting maths behind them. Tomorrow we'll meet you with another interesting lab and we'll discuss about that.